guys. Let's do some stone cleaning. All right. First off, let's look at it. All right. Now we are currently in Brunswick County and we are at the Oak Grove Baptist Church Cemetery and it was established in the late 1800s. This stone is of my great great grandmother and you can't hardly read it and it looks like it was I don't know it, down here at the bottom looks like it might be some kind of limestone or something her husband's stone is this one over here which I can show you later um, his looks more like a concrete kind of a stone but it says Lydia Ann Hewitt um, born looks like December or something 1850 died this is really hard to read I I hope no one has tried to clean it before I hope this is just age because it is very old it's 1920 was date of death um, so I hope no one has tried to clean this with bleach because that will definitely ruin a stone so this is just water this is water too, and though it's not expensive water, it's tap water. But I want to wet it first. Okay. And we're just going to clean the front of it because I, I don't see a reason. There's nothing on the back to read. So the front is what matters. A little towel down. All right. Get some of this dirt off. That's there. Oh, look at that. Look how well you can read that now. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's not December. It's February 15th. That was a day off. 1850. So she was born before the Civil War. So she was about, she was a teenager in the Civil War. Wow.
closer, open up the sky for me. When you say I'll dig much deeper, I will shout. Let me know when I get closer, open up the sky for me. When you say I'll dig much deeper, I will shout. La Waiting. We're gonna give it a few minutes. Um, the hands are dirty. That's okay. It's good work. Um, I'm looking at the stone, and it's getting so much better. I'll do a before and after shots so you guys can see that too, uh, and see the difference. It's amazing. Um, I'm, I want to clean her husband's, but I'm sort of scared about it because I don't want to do any harm or damage, and I really feel like that's sort of a. It's a really well-made stone. A lot of the homemade stones, you can tell they don't look as good, but it's a really well-made. But I just don't know, I don't think that stone is, I don't know, I'm not sure about that can, that material. But I'll research it and I'll see. But her stone is, is brightening right up. It looks really good. I don't think, now that I'm really getting to see it, I don't think that that's, I think that's just pure weather. I don't think anyone's cleaned it. I don't think anyone's touched it with bleach. But I have seen stones that were touched with bleach and they, um, they deteriorate really fast, depending on what they're made out of. But, um, and it's all with good intentions. People don't mean to do that. They don't know. They think they're doing something good. And um, in a couple years, you can't read the stone. So, but you can see behind me, we've had some recent burials out here. There's one over there to Oh, another concert. Okay. All right, let's put this back down and check this out again. Look at there. Now I've got to really get in there and clean that. Try to get it as best I can. You can read it now. Servant of God, well done. Rest from thy loved employee. She she battles she battles fault. The victory won. Enter the master's joy. I wonder if that's a famous poem or something. I bet it is. Okay, let's get back to cleaning.
guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And please, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And hit the like button and share the video if you want to. Um, I'm hot out here. I'm going home. All right, take care. Peace and love. Bye, guys. Keep seeking.